Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have another amazing video for you guys. So in the room here we have the young gods themselves, the both both the best 13 year old players in Brawl Stars. We got Patchy and Usain in here, but that's just a little bit of a side thing. The main focus of this video is going to be talking about two of Barley's star powers. Now I'm going to be going over both of them, the situations where you want to use them because they're very equal in my opinion. The actual usage of them I think is completely different, but when you look at terms of value of what you want to get, which one do you want to get one over the other, I really think it's a coin toss, I think it's whatever you prefer. And we're going to go into some situations and just talk a little bit in depth about why and where you want to use one star power in comparison to another. So with that being said, let's just hop into the games, let's see what we can get, and let's talk about it. Okay, so here we go into our first game, and the new Barley, or the Barley star power we're going to be talking about in this game is going to be the old one. Now. The old one is definitely the better one in gems. Sorry, my nose is a little bit itchy. Um, the, the old one is like far superior in gem, in my opinion. Um, okay, I guess he wants this lane. I guess that makes sense since there's a BB over there. But we're going to have to come back from behind here. So anyways, it's way superior because gem is all about holding a lane. As you guys know, there are three lanes. There's the mid, the right side, and then the left side. I hate that I, I start off with a disadvantage against that barley. But anyways, what you want to be doing on a lane is basically causing just constant pressure. You don't want to allow the other lane to win. You don't necessarily need to kill the other lane to win, but more or less just keep them back and hold them back at all times. Just focus here on getting that kill. Oh, I think I'm going to get it. Okay. So anyways, you're not going to guaranteed win. You're not going to guarantee a kill, but this one's definitely way better. What And why this is, is because you can just constantly just spam. And the reason you can constantly spam with this star power is because you gain health, you gain 300 health per shot. So if you get hit by a bottle or something, it's not the biggest deal in the world. You can just continue shooting, continue holding down your lane, and the entire time you just have, you know, you're gaining health. You have There's no, like, lane lossage. You're still keeping down what you have. Like, I've, I've been hit a couple times, and I'm almost at full health, just continuously lobbing bottles the entirety of the time. We're probably going to be able to take out this guy right over here. We're going to be able to do so. I'm going to pick up a couple gems. And again, we, we haven't stopped shooting this entire game, and that's all due to the star power that we have. So that's basically why you want to use the old star power in gem grab. Um, it's definitely by far the best one in gem grab. Everyone who has both star powers definitely agrees. Oh no. Patchy actually just went down there. Wow, we almost lost that one. That was a little bit close. But anyways, that's why you want to be using it in gem. It's definitely far, far superior, as I've said, probably five times. Um... I can go on and on in gem grab, but that's basically the basics. That's all you need to know when it comes to this, this Shelly star power and why I need to use it. Um, I can go a little bit more in depth in a later video if I'm talking about just barley alone. But that's why you want to be using it in this map, in this mode, in this setting where it's just kind of like a lane v lane. Um, a, that's it. I don't know. There's not any more I can say. Sorry for a little bit of this chopped commentary, but you know, this is just me speaking my mind. I don't have things pre-planned like all the other YouTubers. I don't have some stuff that might not be true. I'm just speaking what's in my mind, what's 100% true, and what I want you guys to know. So let's hop into the second game, and we're going to be talking now about matchups that you want with this star power. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we go into the second game, and we're going to be talking about matchups. Now we're facing Jigsaw, Tyrant, and Slash. We might have to focus a little bit here, just because Jigsaw is currently number one in the world, and Slash and Tyrant are very, very good players. Okay, we got kind of a bad matchup here. So let's talk about matchups and what matchups you want with the older star power. So something that you'd want to be facing with the older star power is definitely something squishier. So something like a spike is really, really good with the uh, while playing with the old star power. Just because you have that constant pressure. Spike is pretty squishy, so it's not like you can just run through your shots. Um, you want to be facing a Rico, something maybe ranged. Let's see what we can do here, just focusing a little bit on killing Jig. But yeah, that, that's basically what you want to be facing. Just those squishier, more ranged uh, brawlers in the game. Okay, so Jig's definitely planning to roll on us. So we're just gonna back up over here, make him waste his roll. We're gonna super the mid. We're gonna be able to pick up that kill over there. So it looks like the Shelly's wanted to change lanes again. And it sucks because she wants to change lanes. This is the second time in two games, and she's changing lanes when I'm winning my lane, and she's like, okay, switch now. Oh, slash my throw. Okay, that was close. I, I think Slash should be using the new star power. We've already made a video on the Poco one if you want to check it out. Oh my god, that was close. I feel like we almost had that. We almost got it clutched, so we probably will be able to kill Jig over here. We are going to be able to. We're going to pick up the gems. Hopefully we don't go down to that Rico super, so the game's a little bit more even. Now you guys are going to see us against a Rico. Now it's a little bit open over here. The wall has been destroyed, so 
and won't be able to give you that good of a demonstration of what you want to be doing against a Rico just because the lane has been opened up by our Shelly, so it's going to be a little bit tough. Jigsaw's going to roll right onto Patchy. I don't know if that was the best move. I mean, he did get the kill, so it might have been. Patchy's going to go down. It's all up to our Shelly at this point. Um, let's see what he can do. Oh, he's dead. I thought he was alive. No. Okay, well, that's pretty bad. So anyways, that's the matchups. That's the old star power. Besides gem grab, you know, this is really the only place you want to use him outside of maybe like showdown. But that's going to be it for the older star power. That was a really good game, actually. It's very unfortunate that we had to switch lanes and, you know, we didn't really have that good of a matchup or we didn't show you guys a counter. But that's what you guys want to want to be doing with the old Barley star power. We're going to hop into two games now on Siege and we're going to talk about the new star power. And I'm going to tell you guys exactly what you need to know about that. Okay, so here we go into a game that we did. Hop into a game, I explained a little bit, and then Patchy was just AFK the entire game, so I did not want to talk about it over that game. So you obviously want to use it in Siege, and let's talk about why you want to use it in Siege. You obviously want to use it in Siege just because it's a really, really, like, just the difference of 140, which is the difference from the start that this star power has over the other one, makes it just, it's just such a higher DPS brawler. It's insane. So you guys are going to see Patchy goes down over there. So Patchy's kind of been throwing these games. Rip Pachi. But um but yeah, you definitely want the DPS against the bots, you want the DPS against the safe, and you just generally see tankier units in um in siege than you do in like um gem grab for example. Sorry, I had something in my throat. Um but yeah, so that's obviously why you want to use it. Now let's talk about other modes you want to use it. Um Brawl Ball is like a coin flip to be honest. I think it's totally dependent on map because Brawl Ball is a lot about control nowadays. So the old one does work in a lot of situations, but I would still prefer the new one just because there's tankier brawlers in the new one. Um, in Bounty, the new one definitely just because it's mostly about not control, not spamming a lane. It's mostly just about, you know, let's let's pop out of a bush, let's shoot a few shots and see if we can get that kill, and, if, and then, you know, just go back to hiding behind a bush. So it's currently 4 to 1 right now, except the issue is that they have the bot which obviously is going to be really really tough to destroy since the fact that they have all three of their supers patchy is standing still again but honestly this time you know we're probably going to get one pushed anyway so i don't really care that's going to be it for this game so that's the modes that you want to use it in in showdown i'm not even going to talk about showdown just because it's showdown i'm not going to talk about it I'm, a, I'm an expert on 3v3 i'm not an expert on showdown so anyways that's going to be it for why you want to play it or what modes that you want to play Barley on. Let's go into another game, and I think we're gonna start talking about like the matchups, what brawler matchups you want to, with this star power, what uses you want with this star power, because this star power is more uses. The other one is purely just matchup dependent, but this one is definitely just uses, and why this one is so much more versatile than the other one. So let's hop into the last game, and let's talk about brawlers, matchups, and usages of this star power. Okay, so I decided just to solo queue. Just because with the teammates we've been getting in this video, like, the randoms can be just as good. So we're going to go with it. So we're going to talk about uses and matchups. Okay, so I did, the Frank has a new star power. I actually haven't even seen anyone use it before. So he's got 9.1k HP. He still somehow managed to get melted that quickly. But that's pretty good. I didn't realize that's what it was. I thought it was just like, once you get low enough, it activates. Um, that's pretty cool, actually, that he has 9.1 uh, HP. I'm definitely going to have to give that one a try. But anyways, the matchups that you want with this Barley, again, Barley does really, really well against those squishier units. So people such as that Rico, or sorry, not people, Brawlers, such as like the Rico we just uh, destroyed, a Spike, again, you, you'll always do really good against. Not as well as with the other one, but you'll do almost as good. And then you want also like tankier units. So someone like a, a Frank or a a bull, a primo, someone where you can just outrange, stay behind a wall and just lob your shots over. So we didn't get to speak about uses of the star power. So let's hop into one more game. We'll stick with these randoms and we'll talk about the usages of, of the star power and why this one is probably a little bit more versatile and more complex than the first one. Let's hop into the fifth game first and then we'll start talking. Okay, so here we go into the next game and we're going to talk about a little bit of usages since we didn't talk about it in the last game. So what makes this really good is the actual fact that you can do a lot more. So because you have more damage per second, you can do things like focus a safe or focus an Ike, for example. So before with Barley, if we're going to be talking about Heist, which is something, I don't know if I covered, but what you want to be using the new, um, 
the newer star power on because of the save you can do a lot and i mean a lot of save damage by just standing there now before dynamite used to do a ton more but now the shots are really close i'm pretty sure dynamite does like 2100 and if you get both effects from the barley shot it also does 2100 and by both effects i mean just like the landing and then whatever it is the poison the whatever you want to call it the alcohol on the ground um, you also get that effect, and you're going to do 2100 damage as well. So that's something super good. Uh, we're going to go down over here. But that's why you want to be using it in Heist, because you can shoot it towards a safe. And the same idea for Siege, you can shoot it towards an Ike. Now something else it's really good at is actually it's really, really good at standing there, uh, standing in front of a bot, which you usually see like a Spike or a Bull do, for example, and just going away at, at, the, um, at the opposing team robot, when it walks at you because what's going to happen is instead of hitting it for like not that much like you did before you're going to be hitting it for 2100 times three so you're going to be doing 6000 damage to a bot if you're just standing and lobbing three shots right on your knees because the bot won't move he's going to be focusing on you and that's just going to be a really really easy way to take it out so you guys can see i'm just destroying the safe at this point just lobbing your bottles at the safe is super important it's pretty funny how the only win streak we got were with these two randoms over here uh one named your dad but anyways that's a little bit of a more in-depth version of what which star powers of the two are you know op um if i were to pick one i'd probably pick the new one just because i think it's a little bit better a little bit more versatile you don't really get that much of an edge in in showdown i'd say the old one is a little bit better in showdown but in gem grab you might be missing a little bit from the old barley star power but to be honest the rest of the modes it really makes up for it um it's also more versatile you can do a lot more things in play positionally and just a more aggressive with the barley so anyways that's going to be it for the video today i hope you guys liked it this was a little bit all over the place just because there was difficulty finding getting a room together and the modes were a little bit shaky and we're, we lost twice for in the for, in a video for the first time in a long time so it's a little bit shaky but anyways, that's going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm currently on my trip. So it's not like I can make any like last edits or if I am not completely satisfied with the video, I won't get it out. The point of this video anyways was not the gameplay. It was to explain to you guys about the star powers, which ones you should get, which one is better and why. And I feel, and I felt like I did a really good job at it, describing to you guys exactly what to do with the star powers. So anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out Connor on Twitch. He's going to be editing my videos and I am going to shout him out every single video that he does edit. So anyways, make sure you guys check him out. He's a great Twitch streamer, number one on the platform in my heart and in a lot of people's hearts. So definitely make sure you check him out. That's going to be it. I'll be back tomorrow. Love you guys. Peace.